Hi everyone, today we're going to be reading a book called The Three Wallabies Gruff, which is written by Yvonne Morrison and Heath McKenzie. Now you might remember reading a story called The Three Billy Goats Gruff, which is a fairy tale. Do you think this might be a little bit the same, but with some wallabies? Let's find out. The Three Wallabies Gruff by Yvonne Morrison and Heath McKenzie. Far out in the red country, dusty and dry, was a wallaby family saying goodbye. A dad, mum and son, Wally's Gruff was their name. They'd all had enough and the drought was to blame. They wanted to look at a pleasanter scene, where plants weren't so brown but were luscious and green. They hoped they would find somewhere leafy and cool, with trees bending over a sparkling pool. Meanwhile, far away in the back of beyond, a group of wild creatures lived close to a pond. Around the pond's edge, a thick stand of trees grew, with only a tight, narrow path leading through. This led to a ditch, and to reach the far side was a rickety bridge where a yowie would hide. This yowie was selfish and stingy and cruel, and wouldn't let anyone else use the pool. Does this sound like a nicer place to live than where the Wally's Gruff are coming from? You might remember where the Wally's Gruff have been living is dusty and dry because there's been a drought, which means there has been no rain. But now, there's somewhere that has a nice sparkling pool and lots of trees where it's nice and green, but there's a yowie that's a bit mean. Where would you prefer to live? Now this page here, the bottom right corner, is where the picture of the Yowie is. I've blurred the Yowie out. And what I'd like you to do, after we've read this page and you've heard what the Yowie looks like, I'd like you to draw what you think the Yowie looks like before we show you the picture. So let's read a little bit more. <clears throat> now remember, the Yowie is selfish and stingy and cruel and won't let anyone else use the pool. If creatures crept over the bridge where he sat, pit-pat, 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 the beast would rear up from his damp hiding place with sharp pointy teeth in a hideous face. Who's that going pit-pat down my private track? I'll gobble you up for my afternoon snack. It didn't take anyone too long to learn if you crossed Yowie's bridge, you would never return. I don't think the Yowie sounds very nice, do you?
So the animals always avoided that path and soon learnt to live without having a bath. But not bathing was bad, but what was the worst was drinking mud puddles to stave off their thirst. They're not having a bath. They're going to smell pretty bad, aren't they? Whoo, they might stink. But it doesn't sound very nice having to drink water out of muddy puddles. Have a look at the picture. Do you think the animals are happy about having to drink that kind of water? I don't think they are. How do you think you would feel if the only water that you could drink was dirty, muddy water like this? Then, into the clearing with all of their stuff, who should turn up but the wallabies gruff? Here were luscious green trees, it was shady and cool, and to top it all off, a sparkling blue pool. This sounds very much like what they wanted to find. Little Gruff said, I think we should all take a stroll and have a close look at that nice swimming hole. But Mr Gruff said, I think my swim will keep. You two go ahead while I have a quick sleep. Then Mrs Gruff added, I need to unpack, but it's okay with us if you head down the track. Hop along and cool off. It's been hot in the sun. I'll come down and join you, just as soon as I'm done. I'd like you to make a prediction. I'd like you to predict what you think will happen when the Wallabies Gruff meet the Yowie. Let's turn to the next page. All at once, a koala yelled down from the trees. Don't go down that track, he cried. Stay away, please. A horrible yowie is living down there. He'll tear you to pieces. You must all beware. Mr. Gruff chuckled kindly. My son is too bright to be scared by a yowie. I'm sure he'll be all right. I trust his good judgment. And so does his mum. The koala sighed sadly, still worried and glum. Little Gruff was excited. He longed for a swim. To snooze was too boring. Unpacking was grim. He bounced down the track through the tight, narrow gap. Slip slap. Slip slap, slip slap, slip slap. The yowie roared, reared, the yowie reared up from the ditch underneath with his red bloodshot eyes and his fearsome sharp teeth. Who's that going slip slap down my private track? I'll gobble you up for my afternoon snack. What do you think's going to happen? Do you think Little Gruff will be eaten by the Yowie? Or do you think Little Gruff will avoid being eaten somehow? Let's find out. I don't think you should, said that brave Little Gruff. You won't get much me, as I'm nothing but fluff. My mother is coming. She's bigger than me. Why don't you try gobbling her for your tea? That's interesting. Little Gruff has told the Yowie that he shouldn't eat him because he doesn't have much meat on him to eat. 
but his mother, who is bigger, has more meat. Do you think that's a clever trick by the by Little Gruff? Let's find out what the Yowie thinks. The Yowie was greedy. He quickly said, Yes, I'm keen for a big meal. Why settle for less? Go on then. Why don't you take a cool bath? I'll wait for your mummy to come down the path. Meanwhile, Mrs. Gruff had set up their new place and was longing to rinse off her paws and her face. She bounced down the path, unaware of the trap. Slip slap, slip slap, slip slap, slip slap. With his fangs dripping slime and his eyes burning red, from under the bridge lurched the yowie and said, Who's that going slip-slap down my private track? I'll gobble you up for my afternoon snack. Little Gruff told the Yowie that he should wait for his mother and should eat his mother because Mrs. Gruff would have more meat on her body than Little Gruff. What do you think Mrs. Gruff will say to the Yowie to trick the Yowie into not eating her? Let's find out what Mrs. Gruff said to the Yowie. I don't think you should, said the wise Mrs. Gruff. I'm not all that big. I won't fill you enough. My husband is coming. He's bigger than me. Why don't you try gobbling him for your tea? The Yowie was greedy. He quickly said, Yes, I'm keen for a big meal. Why settle for less? Go on then. Why don't you go take a cool bath? I'll wait for your hubby to come down the path. So Little Gruff managed to avoid being eaten, and now Mrs. Gruff has managed to avoid being eaten. Let's find out what happens when Mr. Gruff comes along. Just then, with a snort, Old Gruff woke from his kip and was ready to join wife and son for a dip. He bounced down the track, feeling fresh from his nap. Slip slap, slip slap, slip slap, slip slap. The Yowie read up, just the same as before. Through razor sharp teeth, he let out a great roar. Who's that going slip slap down my private track? I'll gobble you up for my afternoon snack. What do you think, Mr. Gruff? will do to avoid being eaten. Make a prediction. Let's find out what happened. But then, he caught sight of the fierce Mr. Gruff, who was rippling with muscles, wiry and tough. Poor Yowie, he couldn't believe his two eyes. For once, he had picked on a bloke his own size. Why do you think the Yowie doesn't normally pick on someone his own size? That sounds like something that bullies do. They pick on people who are smaller than them. Do you think the Yowie's a bully? Mr. Gruff grabbed a clump of the Yowie's long hair and said, it's high time that you started to share. I've got an idea of what might do the trick. Then he lined up the Yowie and gave him a kick. The Yowie went sailing high over the pond and landed far back off the back of beyond. The animals watching let out a great cheer. For now, they could all use the pond without fear. 
Do you think Mr. Gruff did the right thing? Was kicking the Yowie out of the area the right thing to do? As for the Yowie, embarrassed and sore, he sensibly chose not to settle the score. He found a new pond that was cool and inviting and hoped that his new life would be less exciting. Do you think his new life will be less than exciting? Or do you think something will happen? Let's find out. Oh dear, it looks like the Yowie is in trouble. Do you think sharks are normally this big? It looks like an awfully big shark. What do you think is going to happen to the Yowie? Write a prediction.